Michael Saylor and Strategy have recently passed over 500,000 BTC accumulated, less than five years following their initial purchase. Here we'll look at the data to see how much higher the stock could go and if the sky really is the limit for MSTR. Today we're going to be looking at whether MicroStrategy, or just Strategy now, will realistically surpass $1,000 in terms of its stock price and where better to start than the new treasury company analytics page we have here on BitcoinMagazinePro.com. As you can see at the top of Bitcoin Magazine Pro, there is now the treasury tab, which if you click on, will give you all the information and data you need to know surrounding MicroStrategy. From everything from Bitcoin holdings to the net asset value premium, stock price yield, absolutely everything you'd ever need to know when it comes to valuing micro strategy and taking into account their BTC accumulation which as we said is now over 500,000 BTC we can see all their accumulations here and they currently have an average accumulation price of somewhere around $66,500 so a healthy level of profit there what we can scroll down and see is something that's going to be pretty important to this video which is the premium to Bitcoin nav and as we can see if we just hover over this it basically tells us the net asset value premium or the total value of their BTC holding in relation to the underlying market cap of MicroStrategy. And we can see at times this reaches values as high as 3.4, incredibly high premium values there. And we can scroll down and see moving averages, volatility, etc. But like we said, today we're going to be focusing on whether MicroStrategy can realistically surpass $1,000 in terms of its share price, which is about a 3x from current valuations now. And first thing we need to consider is, of course, they have 500,000 BTC on their balance sheet, but of course, they've accumulated hundreds of thousands in just the past year alone, and they have strategies to try and accumulate even more, such as their stack at the money stock offering. And what we can see, this is aiming to raise about $21 billion again with the underlying goal of accumulating more BTC. They also have the Strife Perpetual Preferred Stock Offering, which has already raised about $711 million. And what once we take all of this into account to try and kind of factor in how much BTC additionally MicroStrategy could accumulate, it could be another hundreds of thousands of BTC. But what I've done is actually take all of this into account and create this rough dashboard that'll kind of give us some underlying expectation of where the stock could go. And of course, there are other things that are underlyingly affecting the stock price of MicroStrategy. If I just go to TradingView here, for example, we can see we've seen the stock go from around $9, in fact, exactly $9 just prior to the accumulation of their first BTC all the way back here to a price of $543. So it has been an absolutely massive run up since MicroStrategy started accumulating. Of course, there has been some stock splits, etc. So it wasn't exactly $9, but essentially looking back now, adjusting for prices. But what we can see is if we just look at the financials of MicroStrategy, they are, of course, a software company. Everyone looks at them as a Bitcoin accumulation company, which realistically is what they are now, but they do actually do some business, some real business. What we can see is their revenue has been about $463 million over 2024. If we just go over here, we can see all the revenue over the previous year. So really, this sounds like a decent amount, $463 million in revenue, but given their current BTC holdings and the current BTC price, which should put it at about $43 billion-ish, it'd take around 100 years for their underlying software business to make up their BTC holdings in terms of revenue. So we're going to ignore a lot of this. And as well as this, the corporate bond offerings that are offering yield and future expiry for those bonds, they're really difficult to try and price in. So we are going to be trying to value this micro strategy stock purely based on their BTC holdings. So the way this works is what we can see here is the Bitcoin price up here in the top, the micro strategy price currently at $335, their current holdings, 506,000 BTC, and the current premium based on their underlying amount of available shares. So what we can do is just multiply this micro strategy price by the amount of, by the essentially the circulating supply of micro strategy, and then compare that to the valuation of their BTC holdings. What we can do down here is actually look at their holdings compared to the net asset value premium. So currently, as we said, it's 500,000 and there's a premium of about 1.69. So somewhere in between these two would give us the underlying price of micro strategy if BTC was at $100,000. What we can do is just as an example, change this to $87,000, which is the price as I'm currently filming. And we can see all of this data will update and we're somewhere between 1.5, 1.75. So it's pretty much spot on. Now what we can do is assume 
if they are to accumulate an additional $21 billion, say $22 billion worth of BTC, at a price of around $100,000, of course, if they're buying billions and billions of dollars of BTC, the price is probably going to go up. They're not going to be able to buy all of that at the current prices. So if we assume a price, average accumulation price of that further capital inflows of around $100,000, adding that onto their current holdings of 500,000 BTC that could purchase around 210 220,000 additional BTC adding onto that holding would give them around let's just say 700,000 BTC which would be over three percent of the circulating supply that will ever exist for Bitcoin so it's a mammoth amount of BTC holdings and what we can see is at that price the amount of BTC that they would have and then looking at the underlying net asset value premium would put the stock price at a fair value of $315.87, which is actually less than there currently is now. But what we can see is if we just go back here is there's almost always a big premium on the micro strategy stock, just due to the fact that people are anticipating BTC's value to continue appreciating. What we can see is like we could see back here, this value has at times reached about 3.4. So what we can do is come back here. And if we were to assume 700,000 BTC, at a premium of three to 3.5, then yes, this micro strategy stock would probably surpass a thousand to $1,100, which would be pretty remarkable if they can reach $700,000, 700,000 BTC accumulated, sorry. But what we can do is go a step further. This is assuming a BTC price of $100,000, but let's assume that they can accumulate even more BTC. Let's assume they get somewhere between well, we'll say that's seven hundred thousand dollars, but up to eight hundred thousand BTC, and let's assume a slightly more optimistic BTC target of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. What we can see is if we add this on, and if I just highlight, let's assume somewhere between an asset value premium of two and about a three point five. What we can see is this would put a micro strategy price target range of around nine hundred and fifty dollars to potentially around one thousand nine hundred dollars, which would be pretty amazing and pretty remarkable considering this is a company that was just $9 a few years ago. But again, this is assuming a BTC price of $150,000. We could go even more optimistic than this. Let's assume a price of $200,000 and let's see how that would impact the underlying share price of MicroStrategy. So we're between 700,000 Bitcoin to 800,000 Bitcoin between a net asset value premium of two and let's say a 3.5X. This would give an underlying price of somewhere between $1,260 all the way up to two and a half thousand dollars potentially for their stock price, which is pretty remarkable. But one thing many people are looking towards is potentially MicroStrategy becoming one of the biggest companies in the world. Now this would require them to overtake Apple, which is currently at a market cap of about $3.3 trillion. Pretty big, much bigger than the 74 or 75 ish billion dollar market cap of MicroStrategy. So what we need to see MicroStrategy do is about 45 X in their current stock price, which put the MicroStrategy stock at around $15,000, which I'm going to say is pretty unrealistic, at least for the foreseeable future. Now, especially when we take into account the market cap of gold, which is about $20 trillion as I film this, BTC's market cap was just above $2 trillion when we were at about 100K. So what we can do is up this to a million dollars a BTC price target. And then obviously this massively inflates the potential price targets for MicroStrategy. And if they were to accumulate somewhere between that 700,000 and 800,000, and BTC and we were to get into extremely speculative territory, say a 4x net asset value premium, this would still only result in a micro strategy price of around $14,500. Really, they'd need to be accumulating 850 to a million BTC as BT was surpassing the market cap of gold to really become the world's most valuable company. So is it realistic in this cycle? Almost certainly not. But I do think reaching values of $1,000 or potentially even $2,000 are somewhat realistic targets for this cycle. Like I said, just with their current offerings, their current alternate investment opportunities through Strike and Stripe, their convertible bonds, their aggressive accumulation, if they can, say, accumulate 3% of the circulating supply of BTC, which would be about 630,000, and we see a speculative price of, say, 200,000, oh, we'll go a bit more conservative, we'll go $150,000, and we see a net asset value premium that we've already seen in this cycle around a 3.5x, then that would still result in a micro strategy price of about $1,500. So I do think the upside potential for micro strategy is still absolutely massive in this cycle. But one thing you do need to take into consideration is the correlation between micro strategy and Bitcoin is practically one to one. So if we do see Bitcoin begin to struggle, we're likely going to see micro strategy struggle. And if we scroll down, 
down considering the added volatility that we actually see in MicroStrategy compared to BTC. I mean, just looking at the three month volatility here, we can see over the past few years, Bitcoin's three months volatility peaked at 3.32% as MicroStrategy's peaked at 7.56%. So bear in mind, you will have to potentially endure considerable drawdowns through BTC and ultimately MicroStrategy bear cycles. If we just look at the previous bear cycle, for example, BTC had about an 80% retracement, whereas MicroStrategy was down around 90%. And even in the most recent move here, we've seen BTC retrace by about 30% as MicroStrategy reduced by 57%. So you are going to have to endure considerably more volatility, but volatility to the upside ultimately results in more volatility to the downside. So just to summarize, MicroStrategy or now Strategy and Michael Saylor have accumulated over 500,000 Bitcoin in under five years from the initial purchase in August 2020. And as a result, we've seen the MicroStrategy stock go from around $9 just prior to them purchasing initially to $543 when you're accounting for stock splits. So unbelievable performance we could see in that dashboard of MicroStrategy data. The overperformance even compared to the most massively overperforming stocks such as Nvidia and of course Bitcoin as well it has outperformed practically everything and many investors are now wondering how high the share price could realistically go and when we factor in the current and potential future treasury holdings as well as increased bullish sentiment like we could see the net asset value premium about 1.7 ish now we'd need that to increase quite substantially to get a target of around a thousand dollars but accounting for potentially a couple hundred thousand dollars a couple hundred thousand Bitcoin more accumulated, sorry, and a bit more speculative sentiment at seeing that premium reach two, 2.5, even a three plus, then a thousand dollars seems definitely possible. And even two thousand dollars doesn't seem out of the realm of possibility. What we can see though is strategy will almost certainly not become one of the world's most valuable companies in the near future, as much as we'd all like to see it. It's probably a few cycles away at the very least. And do keep in mind that if you are looking to potentially invest in micro strategy, it is incredibly volatile, even more so than the volatility we see in Bitcoin. So do be prepared for considerable drawdowns, potentially even twice as much movement to the upside or the downside. So it is very much high risk, high reward play. But ultimately, the future for BTC and micro strategy together looks very bright indeed. If you like this video, then please visit BitcoinMagazinePro.com, where our data helps you to cut through the noise to make informed, data-driven decisions about Bitcoin. With over 150 live chats, personalized indicator alerts, private trading view scripts, and more, all for a fraction of the standard industry price. And don't forget to check out the new Treasury Holdings Company Analytics data we have for strategy on site here. With all the information you need, let us know your feedback and any other suggestions you may have to improve this even further, or any other companies you'd like to see included with this much data readily available. And let me know your thoughts below in the comments and on social media do you think micro strategy or strategy and i keep saying it can realistically reach a thousand dollars this cycle i do think it is a strong possibility that we surpass that and potentially start marching on towards two thousand dollars but of course one step at a time and do keep in mind that massive additional volatility we will experience in this stock thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one